Sorry, guys. I had to start. I had to start again. All right. So this is Aries Raw Love. Okay. Um, I hit the wrong button. But you pulled strength was the first card out. Okay. And But this is seductive energy. This is restraint. This is you're holding yourself back from temptation. Okay. Um, and then I just shuffled and then this came out. The Knight of Swords and the Five of Cups. So what this is telling me is that this is... This is messaging. This is you talking back and forth with somebody, but it, it's petty. But you're restraining yourself because this is temptation to me. Look at this. It's like somebody's tempting you. Or you're tempted by someone else, vice versa, however it works, okay? And then you got the Knight of Swords rushing in, and it, and it has to do with the past. It's the Five of Cups, guys. Okay, so it's like, I don't know if your your past is messaging you and hitting you up, but to me, you're restraining yourself from from messaging this person because there's some there's something petty that either you didn't let go of or they didn't let go of. It's clear as day. That's exactly what that is. But this is very seductive energy coming from the strength card. Like to, to me, you're dealing with a very seductive Leo. This person, man or female, is in Leo energy. It's not about, it's the strength to to hold back, to not message this person. But to me, that's a message. But it's, it's hostile. And it has to do with the past. Okay, so there's something from the past that's still upsetting you. But whoever this person is, man, are you attracted to them. So, complicated is an understatement. That's way too many. But, um, this is like, this is like, whoa, okay? Um, you definitely have to hold yourself back here. Nine of Cups. So this person, <laughs> here's the deal. At one point you were happy. This person it still looks like they make you happy. But, like, look at how alluring this is. Like, this is very, very, um, like, this is your happy. It, it, it's like, it's kind of like a wish. It, or if this, to me, if this is, like, dream, dream state energy. But to me, this is reality. This is realistic. Like, this is, this is happening. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if you're using seduction to lure in your past because there's pain. So instead of talking about the pain, it's like, I don't know if you're sexting, you're doing something at the six of swords here. So it's like, you're about to land at this person's door because you, you're about to get to land. So you're either going to show up at someone's house or this message is going to get to exactly where it needs to go. But this strength is you holding yourself back from seduction, temptation. So whoever this other person is, this energy, it, it's very um tempting. But like this type of message is straight to the point. But it has to do with your past. There's some type of sorrow attached to this. There's something petty or some type of sorrow. To me, it's it's normally petty, but it could just be dwelling dwelling on the past. Like, you need to stop dwelling on the past. But, like, at one point, this made you happy. But this is, like, party energy. Happy energy. Seductive energy. Like, you're dreaming about this person. The intimacy. You're literally dreaming of the intimacy. You're undressing somebody. But this message is going to get delivered. I mean, that's landing. That boat is in shallow water. Like, all they got to do is step out. Like, somebody learned a hard les lesson here. Like, a lesson was learned. But here's the deal. The Five of Cups still stands. Okay? So, this is either external to you or somebody else. There's no question. So, again, this is a message. And somebody is definitely undressing somebody having sex in their dreams. But this is reality, too. This is more than just your dreams. It's almost like, I don't know if your dreams are provoking you, pushing you, leading you, um, if you feel forced. 
I'm not quite sure with the eight of wands. So yep, yeah, here you go. Here's that message. I mean, it's you got three. You have three messages. Three. Okay. So the only thing I don't like, I don't. Yeah. See, someone wants to even out the scales here with the six of pens, and then you got the ace of wands. That's passion all day. Okay. So it's like I don't like this five of cups though. And it's like that message, whether you want to send it or not, because right now I feel like somebody's not or you're not, but it's only a matter of time before you send that message. And it's going to it's gonna go exactly where it needs to go. To me, that's like a, a wheel too. It's it's just time. It's, it's the nine of cups. But this is, you're dreaming of this person. Tell me about strength. Um, very seductive, tempting energy that's leading you here. But like there's still... Whomever this is, I'm telling you, it's your energy or this other person's energy. Of There's still something petty. Some external energy that has to do with the past that still is very current. Okay? You got the Eight of Cups. So see, somebody, somebody walked away from you or you walked away from somebody. That's this person coming back. It's like you walk to your happy but I think the grass was greener on the other side. You weren't happy. You know what I'm saying? And you learned a very hard lesson. Very hard lesson. And whoever was left out in the past, whoever my Aries walked away from, is you're going to get a message from that person. So say you're an Aries and this person walks away from you. They're going to message you. Or vice versa. However, However it works for you. Was I clarifying strength? I think I was clarifying strength. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Like, you walked away from somebody. You're being tempted back or vice versa, however it works for you. And it's like destiny's doing it too with the star here. All right? So it's like it's like that wheel, you know? Tell me about the five of cups. So I, I don't know what's still petty here. The star wanted to come back out, but hold on. Five of cups, please. Whatever this is, is, you know, you got the sun. So you're going to, with the eight of swords, all right? So you're going to get your clarity on why this person walked away. Why there was some type of restriction. There was definitely some type of restriction. Okay. Um, so again, it, it's clear as day. Either Either my Aries is tempted to hit somebody up from the past, even though they walked away from them. Somebody obviously thought the grass was greener on the other side. It didn't work out. That's the Six of Swords. It's a very harsh lesson learned. This person is going to message this person from the past. Somebody walks away from you or you walked away from them. However the energy resonates, you're, you're dreaming of this person. You're going to get your clarity on why there was a restriction. There's There's no question that that's... That's what's coming at you. Okay, some type of message. Going to give you clarity. Um, some of you won't want to hear it. Some of you will. <clears throat> Best advice for my Aries. There was a very harsh lesson here. Whoever walks away is walking back. Temptation is doing it. To be at Earth, the power of creativity, recognition for your work too, and being a team player. So this is a collaboration. This is it's like a it's a contract too. Okay. Um it's 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 teamwork. So to me it's a it's a comic contract. It's the only explanation. Okay. Um whatever happened at the time when it went down, it was just the way it was supposed to be. Tell me about the three of earth. It was because it's like the wheels there, you know, and temptation is bringing this person back. So my Aries are awfully seductive or you're fighting against seduction. It, it's regardless to me that nine of cups is the wheel. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Um, the nine of wands came out with the three of earth. So it is, it's like a battle. It, it, it's one, it's one more fight. Okay. Um, it's going to take this person one more fight or or you, okay? 
and you got the Empress so it with the King of Pence. So it's like, but you're coming out of the heartache. But this is heavy, okay? So it's like, if you want to put the effort in, you know, it, it's going to be a little bit of a battle. But you can do it, okay? Um, it can be done for sure. Tell me about this Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands real quick. <clears throat> well, there goes my thought chakra. Somebody needs to talk. All right, you got the full reverse. So somebody might think it's a foolish idea or somebody made a foolish decision and didn't fight for somebody. So it looks to me like somebody should have fought for the Empress, but instead of fighting from the Empress, they they walked or ran away from the Empress. They thought the grass was greener on the other side somewhere, but little do they know this was a contract, a comic contract that was bound to come back around. Okay, so now this person, now the King of Pence realize, realizes they, they made a foolish decision. Okay, so that's what you're looking at for the rest of the match. All right, you definitely have um, this person. That, I mean, they're coming at you this clear as day. Whoever walked away, vice versa, however it resonates with you. Okay, seduction, dreams, intimacy, sex thing, you know, but there's someone still holding on to something petty. But you're going to understand what the restriction was, whether it doesn't matter what it was, you're going to find out. But the Six of Swords is a very harsh, harsh lesson that somebody just went through. And they're going to tell you about it. Okay? So, I love you guys. Have a great rest of the match, okay? Be smart. Bye, guys.